फ्रेंड्स इन दिस सीरीज नाउ वी हैव कम टू द थर्ड पार्ट ऑफ द सीरीज तो थर्ड पार्ट ऑफ द सीरीज वी विल लर्न अबाउट द डेट एंड टाइम तो पीएचपी हैज अ बिल्ट इन डेट फंक्शन व्हिच सपोर्ट्स मेनी फाइल फॉर्मेट्स एंड डेट इज स्टोर्ड एज अ स्ट्रिंग एंड नॉट इंटीजर द सपोर्ट आई हैव आई एम राइटिंग योर डेट इन दैट डेट आई हैव अ स्ट्रिंग Y M D. So Y stands for year. Then M stands for month. And D stands for date. So year. Date. So Y is a four digit. number example a person born uh, 1993 will have the value of y as when is 1993 month range is from Zero one two one two. Date range is from zero one to thirty one. So example number one is date. Y slash M slash D. It will return nineteen ninety three. So is the current time. Ah, uh, two thousand twenty three zero seven zero seven. If for example two is date Y M. B H I S. So what it uses? It uses the today's date plus the time, as separated with the space. So there is a space between the date and the time. So time is twenty-four hour clock. So now it is sixteen. That is four o'clock. Fifty minutes and twenty-three seconds. So this is the date function. Date can have many formats. Like date. Suppose if I want to insert the which day it is, Saturday, Sunday, th- Monday, I will write M D. Then uh, space L. It will output. It will output two thousand twenty-three. Zero seven zero seven, and uh, it will uh, type uh, Thurs- Thursday. It is Thursday. So this is the Thursday. These are the different uh, ways of writing date. So now there is one more. Uh, uh, if date underscore diff. It will take date one. And date two. If date one date diff date uh, is equal to is equal to zero, the dates match. Else, if Result is less than zero. Then date one is less than date two. If else if less is greater than zero, then date two is greater than date one. Uh, there is 
a now function which returns the time stamp time stamp is the number of milliseconds pass since ut utc first january 1970 So this was about the case. So now we will go to the regex. Regular expressions match a certain pattern in a string and returns true for all if the uh, uh, expression is matched and even if it is matched only one time. If it is matched n time, it returns uh, a true and it returns all the uh, indexes of the of the. Uh, Strings. Okay, I just wanted to apologize to this. Uh, JSON decode will create an array, and instead of colon, there will be an association. It will be associative array. So I just by my mistake uh, in the last. I hope you can understand. So this is a, a, a correct output of of JSON underscore decode of object and true. So this the, uh, it will there no colon. It will be associative array. implication operator so now uh, let us move forward so we will study some new functions suppose i want to decrypt a string using the ssl protocol so for that this is the function so it will encrypt it using the ssl protocol And to decrypt it, I have to type decrypt. So these are two other functions. So now we will go to file handling. Now the next concept is very seldomly known as file handling. So file handling functions I will write just. The first function is read file function. Sorry, F is capital. Sorry. Read file. What it does is it creates a handler that uh, attaches the handler to the beginning of the file as demonstrated by password. Suppose my path is on the index. Not HTML. This is my file, and this is my result. So now, if I want to uh, 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 read this file, I can just show you. Now, uh, in that, JV just I just need to write echo result, and the file uh, contents will be uh, displayed. On the terminal. So, but this is not a uh, this is not the standard way. So, the standard way to open the files is file f open. So, f open you have to name uh, just two arguments. One is the name. It can be relative path. It can be absolute. I am using absolute for ex explanation basis. So, I, I open this file, and I will now show you the mode. Read mode is for the I can only read the file. W mode is I can only write to the file. A mode is I can only append to the file. So now if the file already exists and I write something, it will be overwritten by default. But if you write A, A mode, A stands for append mode, it will not be overwritten. It will be the 
the insertion will uh, start at the end of the file. So we will just write R or W or A or R plus that is read plus uh, write then W plus then A plus. So these are all the available modes uh, that are present. A for append, W for write, R for read. And uh, yeah, that does it. This is F open. So now I have a handle that is F F is the handle. So what to do is so what to do is so now we will use the handle using the handle. So the first is, uh, is F read. F read uh, in this handle uh, and uh, read for about 30 characters. This is F read. So what we can do is we can read. We can read the. Uh, we can create a for loop and read. A, uh, suppose I have created for loop. Uh, or suppose dollar i is equal to zero dollar i is less than ten dollar i plus plus so what I will do is so what I will do is in chunks of thirty bytes I will read one by one and the file pointer will be updated so this is f read this is string so once uh, first 30 characters we have read we can echo to the string we can echo the string so every uh, every 30 30 characters will be echoed in uh, different lines i am using a slash n that was about the um, f read. Now f write. In, in f write, I have to just mention again the file handler, and then again hello. By default, what will happen is if I my mode I have chosen write, it will overwrite what was there in the file. But I have chosen a, so it will not overwrite. It will append. So this is what you can uh, uh, use f write in for loop also like we used for f read. So f write the one more function is there file size. So it return takes the handler and returns the size of the file in bytes in bytes here. So this was about uh, the file. Now suppose I want to close the file, I will just write f close and and uh, you can say closer. One more function is there that is file exists. So if file exists, then only perform the it's a returns boolean. So this is file exists. So after that, uh, you can uh, uh, write many other functions. If, uh, let me just remember. Uh, yeah, here we have, have two constants, two vari so, variables. First is the current, this is stores the current working directory, and then this stores the current uh, operating frame, uh, file in the uh, script. Currently operating script file. So these two variables are there. Uh, one more thing was uh, unlinking. Yeah, I forgot this unlink. So unlink just delete the file. Uh, unlink and just delete the file uh, of the file handle. Uh, then uh, you can say there are many functions actually. Yes. I mean, I mean, but the, the, the main functions have been covered like the read file function has been covered 
and the f open function with the modes then the f read f write file size function f close function file exist function and this variables and the delete function so delete function or f close should be done only in the uh, in the final block so uh, this is all about the functions but friends in this series now we have come to the third part of the series so third part of the series we will learn about the date and time so uh, php has a built in date function which supports many file formats and uh, a, a date is stored as a string and not uh, integer the support i have i'm writing here date in that date, I have a string y m d. So y stands for year, then m stands for month, and d stands for date. So year. So y is a four digit number example a person born uh, 1993 will have the value of y as one is 1993 month range is from 0 1 to 1 2 date range is from 0 1 to 31 so example number 1 is date y slash m slash t it will return 1993 so is the current time uh, 2023 07 07 if for example 2 is date Y M D H I S. So what it uses? It gives the today's date plus the time as separated with the space. So there is a space between the date and the time. So time is a 24 hour clock. So now it is 16. That is 4 o'clock. 50 minutes and uh, 23 seconds so this is the date function date can have many formats like date suppose if i want to insert the which day it is saturday sunday th monday i will write m d then uh, space l it will output it will output 2023 0707 and uh, it will uh, type Thursday, uh, which is Thursday. So, this is the Thursday. These are the different uh, ways of writing date. So, now there is one more uh, uh, if date underscore diff it will take date 1 and date 2 if date 1 date diff date uh, is equal to is equal to 0 the dates match else if result is less than 0 then 
date 1 is less than date 2 if else if res is greater than 0 then date 2 is greater than date 1 so there is a now function which returns the time stamp time stamp is the number of milliseconds pass since UT UTC first January nineteen seventy. So this was about the case. So now we will go to the regex. Regular expressions match a certain pattern in a string and returns true for all if the uh, uh, expression is matched and even if it is matched only one time if it is matched n time it returns uh, a true and it returns all the uh, indexes of the of the uh, strings